this recipe is really light in texture and taste. It has sweet and moist flavor. It has a touch of citrus and mild touch of nuts. Perfect for any holidays. Hey guys, welcome to the Salt and Sugar Saga and today we are making cranberry loaf cake. So for this recipe we need plain flour or all-purpose flour, almond flour or we call it blanche almond powder followed by some sugar, salt, baking powder, lemon zest. Lemon zest will give it a very fresh aromatic flavor. You can use orange zest as well. Give it a good mix. Now we'll add our cranberries. I'm using dried cranberries here. You can use even the fresh ones. Let's add some tatty fruit peel or tutti frutti. some nuts. I've chopped them roughly. I'm adding walnuts. You can use almonds, you can use pistachios, you can mix them together along with pecans and add them. You can put whatever you want. Give it a good mix. Keep it aside. Let's come to the wet ingredients. Now I've taken lukewarm milk and I'm going to add uh, my butter in that. Oops. Now let the butter melt in the milk and both comes to room temperature. Now we need an egg and we're gonna add our extract in that. I'm using orange extract. If it is difficult for you to find, you can use vanilla extract as well. Give it a good whisk. Okay, now once the milk and the butter has come to the room temperature. We're gonna add our egg in that. Do not add the egg one like when your milk is really hot because otherwise you'll get a scrambled egg. Okay, now we're gonna add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. The cake is really simple. You do need dry ingredients, you need wet ingredients batch, and you mix together and ta-da! Do not overwork with your batter and do not forget to scrape the bottom of the bowl. Okay, so the batter is ready. I have preheated my oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna pour our batter in a greased loaf pan which I have lined with a parchment paper. I don't want to leave even a single drop of that deliciousness in my bowl. I'm trying to scrape everything. Top it up with uh, some cranberries and pistachios. So we'll bake it uh, for around 50 to 55 minutes or until the toothpick is inserted, comes out clean. Although you can eat the cake right away, but cover it and let it rest overnight, it will be even more flavorful and moist. So now let me show you how it looks. See, in every bite you will get that cranberries, that candied peel, those 
know my chunks of uh, nuts is delicious. Until next time, enjoy your cranberry rose cake. Take care. Bye bye.